Gold. Hi everybody, it's Patrick from Gold Bio here. One of our goals is to save your lab money, so we're here today to show you an assay that will allow you to easily test the efficacy of your antibiotics. Like most chemical reagents, antibiotics will slowly degrade over time and lose potency, whether in a dry powder or in solution. So how do you know if that ampicillin you found in the back of the freezer was any good? Easy! To test the efficacy, we'll be using a modified disc diffusion assay, also known as a Kirby Bauer assay. In this assay, a filter paper disc is loaded with a specific amount of antibiotic and placed on a lot of bacteria. The antibiotic will diffuse out of the disc and into the media where it's taken up by the growing cells. If the bacteria are susceptible to the antibiotic, they will die off. The area with no bacterial growth surrounding the disc is called the zone of inhibition, and by looking at the size of this region, the researcher can say if the strain is susceptible or resistant to a certain antibiotic. For this test, we'll use a known strain of bacteria to make sure a specific amount of antibiotic is giving us the correct zone of inhibition. Let's get started. You will need 6 millimeter filter paper discs, sterile petri dishes, auger plates with no added antibiotic, sensitive and resistant bacterial cultures, an antibiotic to test, and an antibiotic control. We'll need two bacterial cultures, one that's susceptible to the antibiotic you're testing and one that's resistant. The day before you want to test, grab an isolated colony from a plate and grow overnight. The day of the test, dilute your cultures back and grow to about mid-log phase, around an OD of 0.5. While your cultures are growing out, you can make up your antibiotic test discs. For testing out an antibiotic powder, start with a fresh solution of each antibiotic being tested and then diluting them down to the desired concentration. The discs are able to hold about 20 microliters of liquid, and for the ampicillin test, we'll need a final amount of 10 micrograms on the disc. So we'll need a solution with a final concentration of 0.5 mix per mil. Making sure to keep everything as sterile as possible, add a few 6 millimeter filter paper discs to a Petri dish. I always add a few in case I drop one. Next, add 20 microliters of ampicillin solution to each disc. After the solution has been added, let the disc dry. This can be done covered at room temp on the bench, and it can take up to three hours. For faster drying, I leave my dishes open in a laminar flow hood, which will dry the discs in as little as 30 minutes. Label your auger plates in a way that sections off each test disc so you can differentiate them after incubation. I use six sections because I use a blank disc, two control discs, and three discs for the antibiotic I'm testing in order to make sure that I get a better estimate of the antibiotic's functionality. Once your cultures have reached the correct density, we're going to plate around 200 microliters onto each plate. Make sure to spread the bacteria evenly so that all areas are covered. Once there's no visible liquid on the plate, you're ready to place your discs. Working quickly, you'll use tweezers to place the discs onto the center of the sectioned area, pressing them gently into place. You'll make, want to make sure to sterilize your tweezers in 70% ethanol between discs. For each plate, I always include a blank disc with no antibiotic and a purchase disc as a control. After all the discs are placed, incubate the plates inverted overnight and then after around 16 to 20 hours, measure the zones of inhibition around each disc. If the test discs match or exceed the standard, then your product is working correctly and you'll be able to use them for other experiments. And that's it. Now you can easily check the antibiotics sitting in the back of your freezer for efficacy before you worry about spending money on more. And by manipulating the different variables in the test, you can use the Kirby Bauer assay for a variety of other lab tests. If you have any questions, please email me at techsupport at goldbio.com. Thanks for watching.